Welcome to our online. Now let's explore the concept of current density. What does that mean? Well, if we take a conductor, for example, that has a current, meaning movement of charges, we usually indicate with an arrow that the current direction is from there to here, and we use the symbol I to indicate a current, and a current is defined as the amount of charge per unit time that passes by. So let's write that down. I is equal to the amount of charge per unit time, and as a differential, we can write this as dq dt. Now, what does current density mean? Well, the definition is that it's the amount of current flowing through a certain area. So what we do is we take into account that the cross-sectional area of a conductor, well, there's a certain area associated with that, and then if we take the total current in terms of charge per unit time and divide it by the area, we then get what we call the current density, and we use the letter J to indicate that. So J, the current density, is I, the current, divided by the cross-sectional area of the conductor. The units, therefore, would be amps for current divided by meter squared. So that's the unit of the um, current density. Current density can also be defined as the number of charge carriers per unit volume. They basically, for a typical uh, metal, would be one electron freed for every atom. So that would be simply the density of the atoms in the conductor times the value of the charge, typically just a single electron, times the drift velocity of the current going through the conductor. You can also write that as a vector quantity if you assume the velocity to be a vector. And so Jake the current density could be a vector quantity as well. If you remember from a few videos ago that the current can be defined as n, the number of charge carriers, times q, the charge in each charge carrier, times the drift velocity, times the cross-sectional area, if we then take the current and divide it by the area, A's cancel out, and that's where you have the charge density is equal to nq times the drift velocity. So that's where this equation here came from. So that's the concept of the current density. It's fairly straightforward. We tend to use that if the current is not uniform across the cross section. Sometimes there's more current near the edge and less current in the center. And so the charge density then can be used to calculate or represent the current at particular portions of that conductor especially if it's not constant. If it's a constant current density, then you really don't care. You can just simply say the total current. And there'll be some examples of that in other series in this, view, in this uh, uh, video set. Anyway, that's what we mean by current density, and we'll do an example of that on the next video.